Now all new tonight at 11 o'clock, more traffic nightmares could be in Waterbury's future. The 84 project wrapped up months ago and now one is in the works for Route 8. Eyewitness News was the only station getting the first look at how it'll impact your commute. Matthew Campbell joins us now with all the details. Matthew. Well, Aaron, we're talking about two lanes going down to one. Now, this is something that will eventually happen when this project starts, but the good news is that officials say the traffic should not be as intense as it was during the 84 widening. Irma Sackett still shudders when thinking of her daily commute on 84 during the widening project that took four years to complete. Coming home, nightmare. It was just a lot of traffic. With those memories still fresh in the minds of many, the state is unveiling another upgrade for Waterbury a couple miles away on Route 8. These two bridges, the one by Platts Mill Road and this one by the Metro North tracks, will be rehabbed. Andrew Cardinelli from the DOT says the focus will be on the concrete deck. Kind of like a new roof over the over your house. The bridges built in the mid 50s were last rehabbed in the 80s. The state says 23,000 vehicles go over them each day. Cardinale says the bridges aren't falling apart and there's no danger, but after 30 years, it does need care. You can tell when there's hollow concrete or there's cracking on the underside of the deck, and that's just an indication that they're starting to get some uh, seepage through the deck. Eyewitness News learned the project will begin in 2021 and will take two years. Like we saw in 84, some of the work will be done away from the road, so it won't directly affect traffic, but there will be times when lanes will be shifted and reduced. But officials will do that during off-peak times like overnight hours and weekends. I work right on Freight Street, so right where the mix master is right there, so it's going to be interesting to see. The 84 construction did a number on local businesses by closing off ramps. In this case, the state says there's not many that will be impacted, but Irma will be monitoring the traffic and says she's optimistic. We'll get through it like we do with everything. Our Waterbury <laughs> parents, we're used to that. And if you remember, the 84 project wrapped up ahead of schedule and was met with a lot of praise by Waterbury drivers. They're hoping the headaches with this new project will be worth it as well. Live in studio, Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.